all manga readers of Tokyo Ghoul, I have some wonderful news for you. There was a trailer just released for Tokyo Ghoul RE Ray, or Reborn, Rebirth, Reincarnation, I don't know. But pretty much the sequel manga of Tokyo Ghoul pretty much just got a trailer. It just came out, literally, just came out. And if you want to see the trailer for yourself, I will have it in the description. But I want to talk about the trailer, and I, I just want to talk about a couple things, okay? Now, there's been a lot of speculation and talk about the series of this new Tokyo Ghoul manga. Like, what is going to happen to Kaneki? Like, did he die? What happened to him? Did Arima really kill him? Like, I mean, he did get stabbed through the head twice, so did he die? Well, after reading a lot of theories and different things, I think I want to actually discuss what I think personally is going to go down. And all these theories I want to bring up is really not my own. I've read a lot of different theories, and I'm just going to compile them up from what I can see. So, pretty much, as we know the conclusion of Tokyo Ghoul's manga, we had it to where we uh, saw a certain phrase at the end. The final volume says, No Ghoul Shall Pass V14. And after looking at it after the manga ended, it was actually stated as Volume 14. That's what people can look at V14 as. So, No Ghoul Could Pass V14, which was foreshadowing Kaneki's death. But people have actually made some crazy freaking theories that is just out of this world that really go along with what we are currently seeing in the trailers to the Tokyo Ghoul manga, along with what has been discussed in interviews and stuff. So I want to talk about this real quick. Okay, so as we can see from the first trailer, we have a new main character, or supposedly a new main character. I'm going to say right now that new character is Kaneki. I'm going to say it right now. Now, Heisei, that's this new character's name. He has blackish white hair. For instance, you see white hair all around, like on the border of his hair, and then he has black all in the middle. Now, I have a couple theories on this I haven't seen really no one bring up. Now, we have this new character, Heisei, that looks like he is a dub. He's definitely a dub. We see him working with the ghoul investigators and stuff like that in so far from what we saw from the trailer of the manga. We also saw a couple of leaked pics yesterday, and I got to see a couple of screenshots with him that looked like he was with you no know, dubs. So, I'm going to take a guess. As we know, Kaneki got stabbed in the freaking eyeballs. He got stabbed and cleaved straight through in the manga, the final pretty much chapters. And we knew, we thought he died and got turned into a fucking Queen K and he got turned into a suitcase, pretty much. Well, with what happened to him, he, since he got stabbed in the eyes and since he technically got stabbed in the brain, it makes me bring up a lot of questions. What if, okay, what if Kaneki forgot his memories and he actually was turned into this character called Heisei because he doesn't remember his past self? Now, these are the theories I want to get into that's already been discussed. A lot of people said that most likely either Kaneki is being used as a farming source for his uh, Kagane to turn his Kagane into Quinkes for the doves, or he is being turned into an investigator, and that's why the manga can no longer be called Tokyo Ghoul, because it was going to focus on something completely else. I want to talk about a certain theory I saw very interesting I saw someone write down. Someone specifically wrote down saying, like, when Hide was talking to Kaneki. Remember when Hide was talking to Kaneki and we all assumed Hide got devoured by Kaneki because Kaneki felt blood in his mouth? I remember that specifically when I was doing my live reaction to this series. Well, after looking at some of these theories, it made me start thinking. As Hide stated, like, hey, you, uh, you're you just going to die out there. You can't escape like this. You need to have the strength to fight and stuff like this. If you read the dialogue correctly, y you think that he's probably telling Kaneki to eat him. That's pretty much what it sounds like. But looking at it as, as a different context, looking at the entire dialogue of what Hide said to Kaneki when he was in the sewer, pretty much he might be stating that about Arima. That, that could be exactly what... He's talking about, like, he could be talking about, Arima, like, don't get your ass beaten completely out there. Remember, Hide did say that. So, Hide could have been talking about Arima and that he knew Kaneki was going to face him. And I saw this interesting conversation between people saying that, like, it's out of character for Hide to be like that. For instance, just to go let Kaneki die like that and just let himself get devoured. It was out of character. And also, it was out of character if he could really think that Arima was going to lose. For instance, if Hide was actually specifically talking about Arima... Pretty much, it would have been out of character for Arima for him to lose, since we've always heard of him being a badass, kicking ass, destroying ghouls, never really getting damaged. And Kaneki technically damaged him, and which in turn impressed Arima to where he probably spared his life. And this might lead into the events that is Tokyo RE. It might lead into the bits of how Kaneki has lost his memories, and pretty much now he's working as a dove. 
So that's my theories and other people's theories compiled into one. A bunch of theories I've just massed together. And majority of it is fan theories, not all my own. But I threw my own in there about how most likely Konki lost his memories. Like, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about how he lost his memories. I've seen, like, he might have lost his memories, but I've never seen anyone mention that he could have lost it because oh, I'm a stabbing him in the fucking brain and shit. So, yeah. Overall... I am very excited. Go check out the trailer for yourself. It, the trailer's in the description if you want to see it. I love you all so much. Get ready for that Tokyo fucking goal. Okay. Love you. Be safe. Chibi out.